how to solve a problem. The rise and falls of a rock climbing champion. Rock climbing is also my favorite sport because I love, you know, doing, going to the gym and actually doing all the things that she does. I am a Shimo. What I do is climb. What I do is solve problems, which is to say I make them mine. We climbers call our boulders problems. We also call our problems problems. Um, and we have, and to solve them both, it's sort of the same. Once I had a problem and it stretched into the sky. It was tremendously endless. It was bigger than thinking. It was huge in the air and the night of the planet. It was a problem bigger than any I had ever seen. And I had seen plenty. There she is down there. Right down there. There were twists and turns that took place that looked slick as glass. One part was arched like a question mark. Another part was struck out like my father's elbow. In the photo, I had seen him dancing. And in another was shaped like bolts of fabric, stacked like in my mother's sewing room. There were so many parts and none of them looked easy. I sighed and clapped my hands full of chalk, which is what I do before a problem. I held this problem in my head. I mapped out every step, each place I would put my hand, and then I began to climb. I dug my toe into the dot of the question mark, jammed my finger in the bend of my father's dancing elbow, kicked my leg over mother's fabrics. And then, for a moment, the world slipped out under me, and I was climbing on nothing but air. The ground beneath me rushed up and pushed me into my back, like the hands of a giant, named Gravity. What do you think she does after this, guys? How do you think she's going to overcome the problem of falling in a boulder? I'm Ashima, what I do is climb, what I do is solve problems, which is to say, I make them mine. If you want to learn more about how Ashima herself actually overcomes these problems, go check out this book.